This florist makes up to 50 deliveries a day, so when petrol prices rise, the owner is forced to make tough decisions. We try and absorb it as much as we possibly can. Um, however, you do get to the point where you cannot do that all the time and you do have to pass that cost back onto the customer. Paul Ivan Mance is trying his best to keep costs down. We've tried all little things like petrol cards that get a certain discounts, might be very small, minuscule, four cents a litre, but that does help ever so slightly. The average petrol price across the country is now the highest it's been this year at $1.96.5 cents per litre. Diesel prices are close to an eighth month high at 206.9 cents per litre. In some cities and regions, prices are even higher. I mean, I got a bit of a shock. I've been overseas for five weeks and then came back and it'd gone up about 40 cents a litre, 30, 40 cents a litre. If you put some sort of a small levy on city dwellers, they mightn't like the idea of that, but it's a good way of equalising things. I don't think we should be penalised for transport costs just because we live in a regional area. The man representing the nation's fuel distributors says production cuts by the world's top oil producing countries are partly to blame. They're occurring against a backdrop of demand for oil not really dropping the way it had been anticipated. So the global economy is staying fairly stable. The fuel excise also went up a cent in August and there's been cuts at refineries where oil is processed into petrol. The refineries in Malaysia, uh, Singapore and India have all been impacted uh, with production issues. Analysts expect petrol prices to stay high for some weeks yet. In terms of our forecast for oil, say by the fourth quarter, we're calling oil prices at $85 a barrel and we're also saying that the Australian dollar will fall to 64 cents. Both of those factors for us would result in prices of about 2 to $2.10 a litre. The steep rise in petrol prices could fuel inflation in the short term, but it could also see households already struggling with the higher cost of living further tighten their belts. It's just not worth coming into town too often. So I don't come in town unless I have to, and I do two or three things or four things in town and that's it. She's not alone. Analysts say many more Australians will have to continue to cut back. We're talking around about four to six percent of household spending is kind of tied towards petrol pricing or, or transport fuels. So when we see that component rise like it has, it certainly does um, make the case harder for households. Good afternoon, Lilypad. Paul speaking. Paul says the government could help business owners like him by cutting taxes on fuel again. It's very frustrating when the price of petrol is continually rising, but you also realise there's that huge tax component that we're paying on the, the I suppose, price per litre. But for now, motorists continue to face pressure at the pump.